let's talk about it. My karma babies, let's talk about it. Um, actually, I am in the car with my lovely, beautiful, amazing granddaughter, Shauna. Hi, guys. <laughs> she said, hi, guys. I'm not going to disturb her too much, guys, because she is driving Miss Daisy right now. <laughs> I'm on my way, guys, back to the emergency room again. I made that video on Friday, and, uh, you know, a couple of days, the weekend, a couple of days on the weekend, I had that, uh, I don't know if I mentioned to you guys about this excruciating, really hard pain that I've had in my upper left side. I went to a cardiologist. My heart was fine. Everything was fine. I went to the emergency room. Everything was fine. But I'm still experiencing these excruciating pains. It feels like I put my finger in a socket. So this morning, um, I was, uh, I know I've had several car accidents and I've had issues with my vertebrae, four, five, and six, I believe it is, or something like that. And uh, I think I mentioned to you guys that the first time I had this prickly pain was right after doing some strenuous yard. So I went to uh, my physical therapist's um, meeting this morning and I did all the exercises and everything was fine. My grandbaby picked me up. She picked me up and um, when I got home and was getting out of the car, I had this uh, tremendous attack where I dropped my purse. I could feel the pain. It was really bad, guys. Uh, I don't know what's causing it. So we're headed to the capital. We're going to Jackson Floodwood Emergency so that maybe we can try to figure out exactly what it is that's happening. Um, we're going to UMMC. UMMC. And um, perhaps they can get to the bottom of it. Uh, we have our opinions of what it is, but. Um, I'm not real sure, so I'll keep you informed. I'll come back on and I'll let you know once I go through the rigmarole at the emergency room here. We'll talk about it later, babies. So guys, this is part of waiting area, I guess. If you can look down the hallway, you'll see many, many gurneys and there are people on them. I'm not showing the emergency room. This is people's privacy. Uh, but after waiting for over four hours and anticipating another four or five hours or even longer, they, they could not give us any indication of how long it would be. I had to leave without seeing a doctor. Okay, guys, so you saw me at the emergency room. Let me tell you what happened. Okay, let me just, oh, as you can see, um, yes, you saw me at the emergency room. I'm fine, um, but I'll just tell you real quickly what happened. I want to thank you guys for hanging in with me. I want to thank you so very much for all the wonderful encouragement that I received from my last video. I was really not expecting that, but I should have known my karma babies were going to be right there looking out for me. So um, I apologize for even doubting you guys. Okay, so I want to thank you guys. You said that you're going to stick with me and this is part of the progress. You know, I didn't snap my fingers and all of a sudden everything is rosy and everything is fine. No, I know this is going to be a learning process, a learning curve. I still have the pain in my hip and it happened again today. Over the weekend, uh, several times I had the piercing pain in my left uh, arm and uh you know, I had gone to the emergency room close by hospital. They said it was not my heart and, you know, um, you know, when you, 
I know I'm all over the place, guys, but so many things be popping in my head, and now here's a cat here distracting me. <laughs> you hear him? He's distracting me. Let's see which one that is. It looks like it's Clyde, guys. Okay, so, um, yeah. Okay, so let me tell you why I was at the emergency room. Uh, when we got home after my physical therapy, uh, um, I got out of the car and I was walking up my driveway and that pain hit me once again and I dropped everything and it was just horrible. My grandbaby wasn't having anything else besides grandma i want to take you to emergency and i want to take it take you to the big hospital right to the major hospital uh in the capital jackson i told you guys on the way we were going to ummc yeah so that's where we went it was terrible guys um i did get a cardio they did an ekg to check my heart is fine but we were literally sitting there for over four hours and no one ever came back to us. That hospital was so packed. It was so full that one of the doctors literally came out and he said, if there's more, if whoever the emergency person is, you can only have one person in this waiting area with you. We are so booked up and so backlogged and uh, right now, the only people that we are taking care of are people that hearts have stopped beating or hearts that are about to stop beating. And that was after we had been there for uh, at least four hours. So while I was sitting there, um, I had just a, ting a tiny one, a tiny situation. And uh, the... From several sources, I, I've been told, and I do have uh, on a CD scan, that I do have issues with my vertebrae 4, 5, and 6. So, I, I'm i scheduled, guys, I, just a mosquito. Uh, I'm scheduled to go tomorrow to, the, um, to a chiropractor tomorrow. And I'm from the information that I've read, if you've got, you know, a uh, pinched nerve and you get those tingling uh, sensations, it's usually um, your body, it needs to be decompressed. I know, I think the chiropractor can do that. That's why I'm headed to the chiropractor tomorrow. So I'm headed off to the chiropractor and I'm going to continue the physical therapy because I am still working on the periphia, para, piriformis muscle. Guys, try to stay healthy because it is terrible and so hard to be sitting in emergency rooms for four and five hours and just to see the pain the pain around you and it was a full emergency room. I'm gonna show you, I took a picture when I was sitting because I could see directly down the hallway, there were people laying on gurneys, just lined up in the hallway waiting, laying on gurneys waiting for rooms. That's the way the emergency rooms are nowadays. It's the food guys, we're getting sick and sicker by the day so there's a bee buzzing by me guys i'm gonna go in and i want to get this to you i love you guys i want you to remember how others treat you is their karma how you respond is your karma you who you want to talk to huh you want to talk to you guys huh <laughs> so guys listen um I'll meet back up with you tomorrow, and hopefully the chiropractor can uh, give me some more information as to what's going on with those uh, electrical shock pains. In the meantime, I'm going to go in and relax and pray that it doesn't happen anymore. Okay, guys, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye-bye.